In today's holotape, we are going to be making the unofficial mixed flavors of Nuka-Cola. These are the flavors that some wasteland scoundrels created after the bombs fell. <laughs> wait, 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 what? Nuka-Cola. A mix of Nuka-Cola and Nuka-Cherry. Here are the ingredients. Gather them up. We're mixing just Nuka-Cola and Nuka-Cherry to make essentially a less cherry cherry. Mix those ingredients together. Then use the funnel to pour the mixture into a Coca-Cola bottle. Top off the drink with extra tonic water as needed. Then use the capper to apply a Nuka-Cola cap onto the bottle. Carefully apply the Nuka-Cola label onto that bottle. Then clean the funnel blender and any measuring cups. It's actually really good. It tastes kind of like cherry coke, but more fruity. It's good. Nuka Cola. Kinda like cherry? Nuka Buzz. Extra concentrated Nuka Cola. Wild? Here are the ingredients. Gather them up. Essentially, we need to recreate Nuka-Cola Wild, but with an extra potent amount of root beer syrup in it to make it like you mix two root beers together and doubly infuse them or whatever. Mix them together. Use the funnel to pour the mixture into a Coca-Cola bottle. Then top off the drink with extra carbonated water as needed. Then use the capper to apply a Nuka-Cola cap onto the bottle. Carefully apply the Nuka Buzz label onto that bottle. Then clean the funnel blender and any measuring cups. Nuka Buzz. Okay, so this is just double root beer, but I thought it had alcohol in it, so I was like, I got a strong buzz going already, so I'm glad it doesn't have alcohol in it. Ah! Double strength root beer. I don't like more beer, but it's super, super sweet. Nuka Buzz. Double strength root beer. Nuka Fancy. A mix of Nuka Cherry and Nuka Cola Wild. Here are the ingredients. Gather them up. It's gonna make a cherry flavored root beer. So yeah, mix, mix those together. Use the funnel to pour the mixture into a Coca-Cola bottle. Top off the drink with extra tonic water as needed. Use the capper to apply a Nuka-Cola cap onto the bottle. Then carefully apply the Nuka Fancy label onto that bottle. Then clean the funnel blender and any measuring cups again. good actually. The cherry covered up the root beer taste. It's yummy. Nuka Fancy. Cherry cover up. Nuka Free. A mix of Nuka Cola and water? Those are the ingredients. Gather them up. Hey, Kira! Did someone literally just make watered-down Nuka-Cola? Yes. Okay then, mix them together. Use the funnel to pour the mixture into a Coca-Cola bottle. Top off the drink with extra water as needed. Then use the capper to apply a Nuka-Cola cap onto the bottle. Then carefully apply the Nuka-Free label onto that bottle. Then clean the funnel, blender, and any measuring cups. It's basically like sugar water. You call it like water cola instead of Nuka Cola. Nuka free. Basically sugar water. Nuka twin. 
a mix of Nuka Cola and Nuka Cola Wild. Here are the ingredients. Gather them up. Essentially, we're going for half the root beer flavor instead of double this time. Woo! Innovative Wastelanders. Mix them together. Use the funnel to pour the mixture into a Coca-Cola bottle. Then top off the drink with extra tonic water as needed. Use the capper to apply a Nuka-Cola cap onto the bottle. Then carefully apply the Nuka Twin label onto that bottle. Then clean the funnel, blender, and any measuring cups. Ah, that's really good. It's super sweet, and I can't really taste the root beer that much. That's, that's really good, actually. Nuka Twin. Can't taste the root beer. Rum and Nuka. Put a shot of rum in my Nuka. Here are the ingredients. Gather them up. It's rum and Nuka Cola. What do you expect? Mix them together. Use the funnel to pour the mixture into a Coca-Cola bottle. Then top off the drink with extra carbonated water as needed. Use the capper to apply a Nuka Cola cap onto the bottle. Then carefully apply the rum and Nuka label onto that bottle. Then clean the funnel, blender, and any measuring cups. Great, more alcohol. Yay. Ugh. I can mainly taste the rum in that one. Rum and Nuka. Taste the rum in that one. Dirty Wastelander. The mix of choice for the Commonwealth. Here are the ingredients. Gather them up. Essentially, we are going to use two bottles of whiskey, one Nuka-Cola, and some moot fruit, which apparently is mutated blackberries. That's, that's what they used, apparently, so mix that together. Once you smush the blackberries, use the funnel to pour the mixture into a root beer bottle. Top off the drink with extra water as needed. Then use the capper to apply a Nuka-Cola cap onto the bottle. Then carefully apply the Dirty Wastelander label onto the bottle. Then clean the funnel blender and the measuring cups. Again! Yay. Definitely taste the whiskey. That's about all I can taste. Ugh. That's bad. <laughs> so bad. Dirty Wastelander. Taste the whiskey. Fusion Cola. A mix of all the Nuka Cola flavors found throughout the Midwest. Here are the ingredients. Gather them up. Unfortunately, the only Nuka-Cola flavors found throughout the Midwest were Nuka-Cola, Classic Nuka-Cola, and Nuka-Cherry, so that's all we're using. And I don't know how it's physically possible the kid somehow made it orange. Mix it all together. Use the funnel to pour the mixture into a Coca-Cola bottle. Then top off the drink with extra tonic water as needed. Then use the capper to apply a Nuka-Cola cap onto the bottle. Then carefully apply the Fusion Cola label onto that bottle. Then clean the funnel, blender, and any measuring cups. Ah, uh, that tastes really sweet and really good. I can definitely taste the passion fruit and the cherry. Fusion Cola. Passion fruit and cherry. Homemade Nuka Cola. A tribal recreation. Here are the ingredients. Gather them up. We need Nevada agave fruit and barrel cactus fruit. Depending on where you live, this can be hard to find, so we're going to be using agave extracting cactus juice. 
Mix those ingredients together. Use the funnel to pour the mixture into a Coca-Cola bottle. Top off the drink with extra water as needed. Use the capper to apply a Nuka-Cola cap onto the bottle. Then carefully apply the homemade Nuka-Cola label onto that bottle. Then clean the funnel blender and any measuring cups. It just tastes really sweet. I... Wow. That actually isn't too bad. Homemade Nuka-Cola. Isn't too bad. Yellow Nuka-Cola. So what is this? We got it from Rochambeau, a consolidated gift from him. Oh my goodness. Oh no. To make this Kira, what are you doing? No, no, no. Okay, we're okay, we're not doing this. We're gonna um, make a vasimile of uh, apple juice and rice vinegar should make it look the right color while also taste just as bad. Not that I would know. Mix them together. Use the funnel to pour the mixture into a Coca-Cola bottle. Top off the drink with extra apple juice as needed. Use the capper to apply a Nuka-Cola cap onto the bottle. Carefully apply the yellow Nuka-Cola label onto that bottle. And then clean the funnel, blender, and the measuring cups. Thoroughly. Thoroughly. There's literally vinegar in this. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. It tastes incredibly salty and also just, just really, really gross. Oh. Oh my god. <laughs> Yellow Nuka Cola. Incredibly salty? So there you have it. The unofficial mixed flavors of Nuka Cola. Nuka Cola, Nuka Buzz, Nuka Fancy, Nuka Free, Nuka Twin, Rum and Nuka, Dirty Wastelander, Fusion Cola, Homemade Nuka Cola and Yellow Nuka Cola. Next time, we'll be making competing sodas. Huh? <laughs>